Stockman Rover. SEQ Campers has had a big year with the Stockman Rover, and this has our latest features that we're really excited to show you today. Our Rover includes airbag suspension on our independent tracking and 24 volt air con. We have this system on right now. We're gonna test out how cold does it go? How does it run? How much battery are we using? This is all what we wanna know in your Stockman Rover. The new Rover with airbag suspension. Now I do have my legs here I can put down, but we'll quite often set this up here without having to use any legs. We've now got airbag suspension. It's all set up here in the corner, airbag man, onboard compressor. I can just turn it on and off here. And as some pro tips, we never really want to have our airbags above 40 or 50 PSI. That's a good traveling. And that 50 to 60 PSI we could use for leveling. But please, let's not put them much over 50 or 60. Right here, we always want to drop them down and at least leave five PSI in the airbags. Paddle latches, both sides. I'm going from my 40 PSI, dropping it down to five. Let's put this up, crank up the other side, using this for leveling. So there we go. We can really level it. Now my ground here is pretty good. Let's drop one and raise one. There's a little look at setting up some angles on our rover. Now we'll give you some dimensions here, but I can definitely see between that that I've got about 120 millimeters that I can use to level up my van. I've dropped that down to five and I've got this up to 60 on this side. Those are gonna be my max level setup. Now let's just put that back, we're ready to camp. So why do we want this setup? This guy is set up here for off-road. What we can do is we can actually travel really nicely with the airbag suspension, but we can also level it at the campsite. When we go camping, quite often we never unhook from the vehicle, and we're just doing a touring trip really easy. When we do want to set up for longer stays, put the legs down, set up the awning and all the walls. We're going to show you what the Rover Ultra comes with. It includes your 200 watts of extra portable solar. This one here, we've got the draft skirt, custom made to fit all around the bottom. With the Ultra, we've got all four walls. Check it out where you see us. We've got the wall set up here, and it's great for a little bit of privacy from other people there, and still enjoy the view out this way to the creek or the beach. This one also includes the roof racks on top, so we can take some extra gear. I can put 100 kilos up on the roof, and on our van, we're actually gonna put a roof tent up there, so we can take a couple of friends along with us. This is the back kitchen. Now on our barbecue, we've got our sizzler. We can actually pull that grill out and have it for boiling pots as well. And everything, nuts and bolts, is under here. So I really like this. We've got the RV80 in here with a 2000 watt inverter, but the next big thing is a 24 volt air conditioner. In a unit like this, that's well insulated, great size. That air con is working so well, and it's working at 40 amps per hour off the battery. So right now I've got it on and I'm drawing just under 40 amps off it. If I had my solar, the rooftop solar, I would even drop another six or eight amps off that quite easily using just a few hours a day maintaining my battery. So we're running that off a 24 volt converter in here. So that little Victron converter is taking my lithium battery, pumping 24 volts, and I've got it set up at 21 degrees inside. We'll see how cool it does come down reasonably shortly. But we have been able to use this for a couple of hours, my battery monitor here and using my app. I don't have to turn on the inverter. My inverter and running an air con is actually gonna be double that 80 to 90 amps per hour, and we're running at 40 amps per hour. And they've now set up for Queensland, got an extra fan built in there. So when I am running that inverter and all my components, I've got an extra fan keeping it cool. All through here, I've got my water pump and my airbag suspension. All that gear is under there. It's all looking really good. I love that it's tucked away. It's a clean campsite. Really excited. Let's take you through and look at what the air conditioner is doing today. We've set up the 24 volt air con here. So it's quite a wide unit, but geez, it's working really well. Inside, we've got 
40 amps drawing out of the battery. And I've just set up my thermostat. We started the morning at 30 degrees. It's now 33 degrees in the shade here on this van at the front here. Now inside, within 15 minutes, I'm down to 25 degrees. So it's already cooled it down. And I've just set it here at 21 degrees celsius oh my gosh right so i have just set it and that space there cools off really nice we're gonna try it out on auto to see how it cycles up and down but right there i've made it very bearable within 15 minutes i've really cooled off this room with that 24 volt air conditioner set up here passenger side we've got the bench we've got the stereo we've got a tv in this one and this is everything that comes with your new rover the rover ultra now that air con set up there also has the roof hatch inside to get the air out when you're not using the air con that 24 volt air con inside we've heard it cycling down so using even less power but this is bush camping for us here with the rover now what's included in your new rover it's got the stone guard on the ultra gas bottles here from scq campers at the front here we've got the lockable huge storage looking inside again i've got my light there as well and i've got my smart tv my custom draft skirt. I've got my portable solar blanket, as well as a solar on the roof. And then I also have here all my walls. So I've got the four walls and the ultra. All this great storage and tie down in there. The other side, I load up with my camping chairs, tables, and I can even take a porta potty or other items in there on the rover using this great big tunnel boot. It's all looking good. This is how we camp in the shade. Now it's Queensland summertime and we're using our 24 volt air conditioner. I hope you like this walkthrough of our videos. This is Shane from SEQ Campers. Please like and subscribe to our videos and say good day when you're in Queensland.